Howdy! Today on Flipping Science we're going to be looking at balancing equations very simply. So we're going to start by using a method I call the shopping bag method and then after that we're going to try it without. So this is the equation we're going to balance. So we've got hydrogen and chlorine reacting to produce hydrochloric acid. We're going to use apples to represent hydrogen atoms and bananas to represent chlorine atoms. What we're going to do is we're going to follow one of the fundamental rules is Basically, you can change the number of molecules you have, but you can't change what makes up the molecule. And the way we do that when we're doing this example is we can change the number of shopping bags that we have, but not what's in a shopping bag. So, have a look at our, what, our, what we have. So, we've got apples representing hydrogen atoms, chlorine is being represented by bananas. If you see the little number after something, that means you have that many of whatever's in front. So, in this case, I have two hydrogens and two chlorines. So, I need to represent that in my shopping bags. So in this shopping bag, I've got my hydrogens. In this shopping bag, I've got my chlorine, so I have to have two of them. There we go. And over here, I've got one apple, one hydrogen, and one banana, one chlorine. All right. So this is what I have. Once you've represented it that way, it's a good idea to count up what you've got. So, if we have a look at our bags here, we can see we've got two apples here, two bananas here, and only one banana and one apple. So the question is, is that balanced? We look at either side of the arrow. So on this side of our arrow, we've got two apples. On this side, we've only got one. On this side, we've got two bananas. On that side, we've only got one. So now what we need to do is figure out a way that we can get the number of bananas and apples to be the same on both sides. We can do that by changing the number of shopping bags. Okay, so if we look here, how could we do it? If we made a duplicate of that and had a look at what we have now. Now, if I have a look on this side, I've got two apples. On this side, I've got two apples in total now. So I've doubled the number of molecules of hydrochloric acid. That's what I've done. So if I have a look at the number of bananas here, I've got two bananas. And now on this side, I've got two bananas. So if we represented that by counting it up, we've got two apples, two apples, two bananas, two bananas. So on either side of the arrow, now I'm balanced. When we're changing the equation up the top, what we do is we put a little number two up the front. That means you have that number of everything that follows. So where over here you have a small number behind, that means you have that of what's directly in front. Over here, what that means is you've got two of whatever is after it. So in this case, we've got two hydrochloric acid molecules. Now, I've left spaces here to put 1s, but we don't put 1s. We just say H2 plus Cl2. So now this is balanced. Two apples, two hydrogen atoms, two chlorines, two chlorine atoms. On this side, two apples, two hydrogen atoms, and two bananas, two chlorine atoms. So the big number out the front means we have that many of everything that follows. 